West Side. I've tried to do this Life is Poppin' vlog intro video probably three or four times already. And I haven't been able to really capture the feel that I want to introduce this vlog because this this vlog means so much to me because I, I know the potential that it has to change people's lives. My name is Robert Briggs Glover. Some people call me Briggs, some people call me Rob, whatever you want to do. Uh, I'm a personal trainer. I'm from New York. I'm from Brooklyn, New York. But I've been living here in beautiful Norfolk. Oh, beautiful Norfolk, Virginia. For probably, I don't know, I just moved back here from, from LA uh, about a year ago. Uh, I moved here to go to college with my high school sweetheart and my now uh, ex-wife and kid's mom probably about 10 years ago. Yeah, I'm, I'm aging myself. This Life is Poppin' vlog series is basically letting you guys in on my journey, man. Like three years, three years or so ago, I decided to change my lifestyle. And um, because there was a lot of turmoil going on in my life. You know, I had recently gotten in trouble. I had lost everything. Um, I was overweight, severely overweight. I had just gotten a divorce. So I just wasn't in a good space. So what I did was I decided to change my lifestyle um, and change my relationship with food and start to exercise. And I ended up losing 140 pounds and transforming this body into uh, what it is today. The, the transformation that happened on the inside is far more drastic than the transformation that happened on the outside. And um, during the process, man, like I've been inspiring so many people and it I never set out to do this. Like I never considered myself a motivation to people. I never, that was never in my, uh, in my plans at all. But it has developed me into this kind of like motivational figure, I guess. But I don't consider myself a motivational speaker at all or a motivational figure. I'm just simply sharing my journey and sharing what I go through. But over the last, especially the last year, I've been experiencing so many life changing things and uh, having so many breakthroughs that I feel like sharing this with the world would bring so much value to people like I'm going through a lot of this stuff like I have I've had a really hard life you know I have the typical story I'm from the urban setting <laughs> which is a fancy fancy way to say the hood I'm from Brownsville Brooklyn um my family dynamic was a little questionable uh, I guess that's the best way to say that but you know my parents they did what they could and um, I actually thank them. I thank them for not being the, the perfect parents. I've been through so many things in my life that built so much character in me and so many lessons that I use now to help other people with. You know, there's not much that uh, people go through that I haven't experienced. Every single one of those experiences, every single one of those lessons has made me into this very resourceful, very um, optimistic, very positive person because I wasn't trapped by those events. You know, it didn't, it didn't create a mindset, a toxic mindset that most of the people that grew up in my environment now possess. And for that reason, I feel like it's my responsibility to help adjust people's mindsets that, that have similar backgrounds to mine. Whether it's you were grew up in an urban setting or you grew up in, in an abusive environment at home or you were overweight and, and, and you didn't feel good about yourself or uh, you've, you've, you've made mistakes in your life that, that people judge you about. Or you've constantly messed up and messed up every single time. Like no one has messed up more than I have. But I wanna show people that you can take control of your, of your life at any moment. It's simply a decision. 
once you decide to take control of your life, um, you literally can, you stop surviving, you stop making a living and you start designing your life. I haven't arrived. I still have so much growing to do. I still have so much learning to do, but, and, and I'm speaking to you as a pair. Like I haven't, I haven't made it. I feel like I'm at, I'm off to a really good start with this because I, I now have the mindset, right? The mindset that I know is gonna set me up for success in manifesting the visions that I have for my life. And, and manifesting, you know, like, I, like I'm, I wanna write books. I'm gonna write books. I'm gonna inspire millions of people to, to you know, to and adopt a, ha a healthy lifestyle. Because I really, truly, 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 truly believe the first step in getting control of your life is to get control of your health and to get control of your diet. And everything else kind of spills over from that. You know, I think that's a very important piece. My dog, I don't know what she's doing. Brooklyn, come on. I'm basically redefining what people think is a great life. You know, a lot of us, we put a lot of energy, we put a lot of value on physical things, but it's so much bigger than that. There's so much more to life than physical things. Don't get me wrong, <laughs> the physical things are great, right? And that's one of the things you're gonna watch me manifest for myself. You know, like I love nice cars, I like nice houses, and right now I don't have all that stuff. I drive a 1996 Honda Civic that I love to death and I appreciate. Cause I had a nice car and I gave it up because I understand that that wasn't the right thing to do with my money at this time. Um, but that's, that's another thing. My journey, oh, she's pooping. Just to redefine where a popping life is. And to me, a, a popping life is a life filled with passion, a life filled with vision, a life filled with purpose, a life filled with service while I clean this poop. <laughs> But I'm excited for you guys to go on this journey with me because I know it's gonna be life changing for you. So stay tuned. Life is popping vlog city starts now as I clean up this poop. I'm gonna be, I'm gonna be, I'm gonna be, I'm gonna be.